Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your host, Anon Jr., and, uh, yeah, I'm running late. I just logged into the server where I laughed, uh, la laughed, last left myself AFK, and, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's make our way back down, because you're gonna look at that, and you're gonna go, Anon, I thought there was more of the roof done last week. Uh, it's because there was, and I didn't like it. I went to go try to do a little more work over the, uh, over the weekend, and yeah, it just wasn't cutting it. I, I didn't like it. That's not the right angle I want. I, I don't know if it's the right angle or if it's not the right shape or what it is. It's just not, it's not right. I don't like it. Uh, I, I get nothing else to say other than that. Um, and of course, I'm running a little late. Uh, got home a little late. Finished dinner a little late. And uh, I, I go to post the uh, going live in mere minutes on Twitter. And lo and behold, there are multiple... Uh, are you kidding me? Type things on uh, on on Twitter. Like I log in, and first thing I see out the gate is guitar legend Edward Van Halen, Eddie Van Halen. Uh, lost lost his battle with cancer, and that. That that is a that is a tragedy. That that's another one of those uh, too soon moments. Uh, yeah, I, I I don't I don't know what else to say to that other than uh, that that that's a that's a very definite too soon. But here we find ourselves, 2020, the year that keeps on giving. Uh so, just a, a, a moment of silence for Edward first. Now, in, uh, I, man, I, I'm a little torn about the other, because I said that there were two, two things that were in the news that, uh, really gave me pause before, uh, starting the live stream and, and I'm debating on whether or not I, I actually should mention the other one because it is a it's a security vulnerability that uh, Troy Hunt posted a link to from uh, Pentest Partners and Well, let's just say talking about it would make it interesting to maintain the family-friendly portion of uh, my channel. Uh, I really do. I really do strive to keep this family-friendly. And Pen Test Partners found a security vulnerability in. Um, A Bluetooth enabled device uh, <laughs> personal technology to say the least and <laughs> man there there is no uh, there is no real it's hard to do this one delicately um, it's a uh, a male chastity device that has a security vulnerability that could cause a hacker to lock it and lock you out. So the only way to remove the device is with an angle grinder. There's something I never thought I'd have to mention. But there we are. 
And that's what greeted me before while I was trying to figure out how uh, to go live. Yeah. So there that was. I I've got I've got a diagram that I meant to put on one of the graphics off to the side. Matter of fact, you know what? Well it's still daylight in the world. Uh, oh no, I can't do that while I'm live. Never mind. Uh, oh, wait a second. I don't want the stones here. Oop, oop, oop. Um, I want to do this with the uh, other stuff first. As soon as my brain decides to kick in. Another brick. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're also at that that point too. I, I've got some caffeinated beverage in in my spill-proof travel mug because twice now I have ruined my really nice ergonomic keyboards by spilling something on them. Uh, if you're watching this past Friday. Was that only Friday? Yeah, that was only Friday. Uh, this past Friday, I was doing my, my usual Star Wars stream. Let me uh, go get on Discord. Uh, I didn't think... Uh, hello, Rast. Hello. I didn't think anybody was going to be uh, joining. Yeah, we made it at the last minute. That works. Wow, I love these doors. Um, did you hear the news? Which news? Uh, one Edward Van Halen has passed away. No! He lost what? his battle with cancer. Oh, that's all of the sad. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I was, <laughs> before you guys hopped on, I was explaining the two stories that I stared dumbfoundedly at my Twitter feed going, uh, this this got posted? Uh, and that was that was one of them. That's so sad. Why would you tell me sad things? Uh, would you like to hear a funny thing in a weird sort of way then? Yes. The security group Pentest Partners found a vulnerability in a Bluetooth enabled device. The, uh, the vulnerability causes all, all people with permissions to operate the device to be locked out. Which sounds bad enough as it is, until I mention what the device is. Oh no. Um, it, it, it's a, uh, it's a male chastity device. Oh. So the idea oh, is, no. is that so someone you trust to keep you out of business has the ability to unlock the device so you don't get yourself in trouble. And the hacker says, now nobody can unlock your device. And the only way to remove it is with an angle grinder. <gasps> yeah. Oh, my. And security researchers tried contacting the company to let them know, like, hey, uh, not to put too fine a point on it, but you get a problem. And uh, they, they did not they, they did not respond to the... Uh, The, the fine folks oh, over at poor people. the security company. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Hi. Okay. Um, That's not funny at all. No. 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 Trust me. All the no. And I'm redoing the roof. I don't like the roof line. I just. Hmm? 
Oh, I just... I'm, I'm counting in my head how many times you're going to redo the roof. We're only at two. Okay. Cool. So far? Cool. And I was also explaining why I, I'm drinking my soda out of a spill-proof coffee cup. Yeah. This has been a sad Because, uh... Friday was the, the second time I've ruined a really nice ergonomic keyboard by spilling a beverage on it while streaming. I need a bigger desk. It's on the agenda. Yes. Ah. <laughs> uh. Well, in better news, uh, for alienating the audience, Andrew Heaton did a start. Uh, went back to a book review thing that he did a long while back. Okay. And this time, he did. Hang on, uh, let me check my notes because I want to get it right. The 15 Lives of Harry August. And the, the, the premise is a very unique one. The idea is, is that there's a select group of people who get the opportunity to relive their life. Um, Interesting. I think I, I think I did something wrong here. Yeah, so in other words, if you are born in 1980 and you croak in 2060, when you die in 2060, you start back over again in 1980, but this time by the age of... Three, I think it was. You remember everything from the last go round. Oh. And on life three, you remember everything from life one and two. And so on and so forth. And every time you do something different that influences the world around you, uh, it actually makes a change for that go round. So it's not everybody. It's a small number of people. And once you're part of the club, that's it. I mean, it's not a club-like membership, but once uh, once that's your life, that's your life. Hmm. Um, but the catch is everybody... Everybody else... Uh, has a fuzzy memory like like you remember you remember the last one really good you remember the one before that mostly good and the one before that is a little fuzzy in spots you know just normal human memory type stuff where you know you remember yesterday pretty good the day before eh, and the day before that it's a little more fuzzy and you know you, you stretch back more than that and it, it just gets kind of yeah um the catch with Harry August is he has an identic memory. So oh. he remembers everything perfectly. Okay. And, and they, they talked a lot about the book uh, without getting into spoiler country, which is good. Um, and just, uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's a very interesting premise alone. Yeah. So hmm. I might I might have to pick that up at some point. That is an interesting premise, although I would have some very major questions about many things. Such as? Um, whether or not, like, the human brain could even take that. Oh, that kind of stuff. The practical stuff. Yeah. Even though it's a science fiction. 
Star Trek had a, or Star all the Star something movies had lots of science in their fiction. Oh. Uh, I mean, they also had triples, but still. How, how about let's call it science adjacent? Because a fair amount of it was at at its most charitable science adjacent. No, yeah, there was also some good stuff, and that's how we find the good stuff from the bad stuff is by talking about it. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, one of the like one of one of the things that they mentioned is that he ends up saving somebody from a serial killer, and then realizes that for the rest of his perpetual existence. If he want, he, if he wants to save that person, he's got to uh, to kill that serial killer over oh. and over again. That's not fun. Uh, and then it gets into the question. Uh, they don't say how the book resolves it, but that it does talk about and get into the question of. Well, okay. Is it all right to kill the serial killer before he starts? You know, th- this this is getting back into the whole baby Hitler kind of thing. Gotcha. Um, you know, is it so? You know, you know that Ted Bundy is going to do horrible, horrible things. Is it justifiable to? kill him before he starts doing horrible, horrible things. Oh, I love these kinds of quandaries. And, uh, yeah, so that kind of stuff. And they do take full advantage of some of that, too. That sounds fun to me. It, it does, and and they they gave a much more exciting and useful recitation than I did, but they also weren't trying to follow a roof diagram while explaining it. Fair. I had my notes, but it doesn't look like my notes synced. Oh, at the opening to uh, Cord Killers, the the they're, the the Cord Killers podcast likes to open with all sorts of uh, podcast or not podcast uh, movie and television trailers and that kind of thing, and. Uh, for the trailer that they opened with. Did I do that right? Yeah, okay, I did that right. Um, the, the, one of the characters dramatically intones, but you're a son of Zeus. And that's when Brian cuts in with, yeah, lots of people can say that. Let's begin the show. <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> and lots of people could say that. And, and you know, I'm I'm thinking of uh, you know, my my Greek mythology and going, you know, I mean, not exactly wrong. I and mean, it's like every other demigod, so you know. Like, could you imagine Oops. doing like a Bill Murray of like the Olympians? What, a, as far you are as the father. <laughs> oh. oh, doing it all like the drama, like just extrapolating all of the relationship drama. Yeah, I, I was confused by the Bill Murray part. Why is yeah, Bill Murray the guy, doing this? Wasn't he the one that did? Wasn't he the one who did? You are the father. On the daytime talk show. Uh, I don't think that was Bill Murray. 
Bill Maybe Murray is the Murray. comedic actor who played in Ghostbusters and No, it was not that one. Groundhog Day and Oh, I liked Ghostbusters mostly because I like the slime guy. I don't think it was Jerry Springer. Uh, he was one of them, though. He definitely did. I, the same I, kind I of remember. Thing. I remember who you. I, I know who you're thinking of. But uh, oh. ooh, you know what else would be a good show? What? Bring the Olympians on Doctor Phil. <laughs> Are you serious? dead why would I not be I'm also having a very meta moment of watching season zero while on season one what? For uh, concrete? Trying to find the layout for my concrete. For yeah, trying to find oh. the layout for my concrete paper. <laughs> I don't think I missed a solid block. Oh, that is. That's tall. Uh. That's. That's a lot taller. Stairs block, stairs block, stairs block. Oh, that's how I did that. Uh, oh, yep, yeah, no, you're right, I did. Oh, dog. What did you did? I missed a block. Ouch. Ah, the hard part's getting the template. Once you get the template down, there is, it's easy from there. Where's that guitar building? No, that's also guitar building. Mm, that's all of it. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that's still... That, that's... That's a lot taller than I wanted. Maybe I'll just do this design Whoa. up to a certain point and then, uh, yeah. Maybe I'll just do this design up to a certain point and then make it go a little sharper. Uh, That's intense. Well, I mean, everything else on this building is so small compared to the roof. I mean that that's that's the problem is I'm not taking full advantage of all the space this uh this roof could be using. Is that where I screwed it up? Oh no. There it is. Is that I, I'm leaning my head around the corner like that'll help me see. All right, so of course block, it will. Stair, stair. Then we got block, stair, stair, block, stair, stair, block, stair, and then roof. Grab those before they disappear, because I smelted up a whole bunch of red nether brick and nether brick. All right, let's so, uh, step back and oh, missed the tree. No, I totally meant to stand under the tree. There we go. No, of course you did. Oh, I didn't mean to fall off the ledge though. All right. 
block, stair, stair, block, stair, stair, block. So far, so good. Get over. Uh, all right, that looks correct. And that still looks a lot taller than I wanted. Well, we knew it was going to look taller than I wanted. The question is, does it have the right angle? Oh, hey, look at that. I mean, of course I landed on that one square wide block. Yep, this of course roof you did. is too, huh? I said, "Yep, of course you did." Yep. This roof is too tall. This roof is too small. Where's the one that's just right? need a moment to contemplate this one. Okay, no, timer's ticking. Ah, uh, you know? What if I did the old style a third of the way in, and then that second style for, so we've got a gentle slant and maybe go up and then that roof for the top part yeah okay um how's your project going I'm at least know what I did That's where angry face goes. That's where angry face goes? <laughs> yeah. Oh, nope. He goes the other way. Yeah, that's why we have the wrench. Angry face. See? Not angry. I look like that all the he time. He looks discontent. I'm going to let that quiet sit right there. <laughs> right there. Uh, right there. Right there. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, I meant to do that. Totally. Hey, where's our dude that gives us stuff? He has not been around lately, and... I am totally concerned for his well-being. The wandering trader? Yes. Uh, actually, I haven't seen one in a while. I know he's spun, uh, although I haven't been AFK in a while either. He's and insane. a lot of the places that he used to spawn around here have disappeared. Because he used to spawn all over this building while I was working on it, and that was, uh, that was frustrating. Fun? Oh, I oh no, no, it, it was straight up frustrating. I, I'm not even going to play it, that one. Uh, hmm. Really, dude? They, they spawn within so many blocks of the player and so many blocks of a village? I think. I mean, you can tell how confident I am of that answer. Totally. Turn on the hitboxes so I can go find these things later. Loopy right. thing? A what? A bloopy thing. Bloopy thing? actually a funnel. <sighs> Who 
Is that all you want? I should probably turn off the clouds or elevate them. They're getting in the way of my roof. That's not a bad sign, is it? That the clouds are getting in the way of your roof? I mean, it wasn't for me. No. And, and I, I would like a cookie for restraint on commenting on other people's rebuilding habits. Ah, uh, except you just did it. See, you're going to get that not, cookie. Not, not, not technically. Now. BRB. Uh-oh. shadow on my own build. Alright, uh, so let's go, so we're gonna go that way for a third. All right, which backwards? Going out a brick instead of up a, or going out a block instead of up a block? Let me, uh, let me sleep on that. That's a more rapid descent than... Oh. Oh, good. Who slept? Oh. The data pack doesn't say. Huh. Well, I guess it would have to be Reyes. Somebody write that down in the calendar. Reyes actually slept. She's safe from phantoms for at least a little bit. Ish. Adjacent. That's one of the things that I was wondering about with the uh, Minecon Live announcement. I still haven't gotten around to watching that yet. And I, I really do need to. Uh, oh. Apparently my wings are distracted too. Because uh, they, they were putting up that uh, that new... The new cow, the Moo Bloom. The Glow Squid, which won. And the Ice Logger. And the Ice Logger was going to be a hostile mob found in the mountains. Like, there. Uh... <laughs> And if you've kept some of the same mechanics as uh, dungeons, which he came from, he was going to be able to summon blocks of ice and make ice bridges. And they, they were kind of hand wavy about what the the new mobs were going to do. And I get, I deeply suspect that was because they didn't want to promise something they couldn't deliver, and because they weren't entirely sh they didn't want to devote the resources into figuring out what they were going to do until they knew which one people wanted. But, um, anyway. Uh. So we're going to go. We start here. Let's try this again. Third time's a charm, right? Anyway, everybody kind of likes the idea of a hostile, a new hostile mob, and something to do uh, until there's that new hostile mob being all hostile and causing problems. 
You know, like everybody thought the Phantom was kind of a neat. It was a new game mechanic. It would create new challenges. Um, so, stare, block, stare. Isn't that pretty close to what we did on the other side, though? I feel like that's what we did on the other side. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. We did block. Stare. Stare. Or like that. That should bring the angle up a little more. Ah, all right. Let's try it. Anyway. I think everybody's down for uh, for the idea of a new mob until they're in the middle of something and that mob causes problems. Then all, all of a sudden it's uh, a different story. That's a block. You try bringing an objection like that into some of the discussions that I've seen, and it gets, uh... <sighs> I wish I could say silly. Silly is not the word. The problem is there's lots of people going, Well, it's called survival for a reason. Um, yes, and. A. Not everybody plays survival. B. Even the people who play survival don't necessarily want it hard out the gate, or harder out the gate. Um, making the end harder is one thing, because you got to be at a certain level before you even get there in the first place. Um, or sorry, making the nether harder. Although, th the same logic will work for the end. Same slab. Ah, we'll do that for the moment. All right, not as tall as that one, which is good. Do I have enough glide? Oh, I missed. Let's try this one more time. Oh. All right. Um. Sorry, there is no coffee. I had intended to make some, but I was running so far behind I couldn't even do that much. Hey, um, Rayest, that wandering trader you were looking for. There he is, right there near you and everything. I don't know. Near you. Where are you at? Although that does beg the question. I don't think the data pack ever specified what exactly near was. Other than near you. Uh... Get the hitboxes off real quick. Oop. 
Let's see if we can find this guy. Oh, did he spawn inside the trading hall? Or inside the storage area? They've done that to me before. The gun wandering all around and oh no, he's on. Oh, you found him. <laughs> I, I should have known you'd have found him. All right, let's see. Can I get this toss right? Oh no, too far. That went way too far. Huh? I figure where that lead came from now. That's uh slightly bothersome. Oh, from where they spawned. Somebody's in the trading hall. Come on. How many how many tries does it take to tame a llama? Oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> no. No, 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 no. I, I am not, no. No mini ancient debris. You, you're going to have to go mine that stuff yourself. I, I will not be part of that. Nope. I don't think Medic's on. Alright, um... What did I come here for? Oh, a chest. Wow. We're, um, we're out of chests. Well, I mean, Rast, if you really need ancient debris, we could scrap our plans and go hunting for it. Get your gold armor. That never gets old. Ooh. Ooh, he's actually got storage. Hot diggity. I think I need to go downsize one of my uh, weaker llamas and... Don't tell Rayest. Uh, okay, the nether gold, there should be some in there. Wasn't it, um... Oh, bother. Here's some more... Oh. Hey. Over here. Rest. There's your nether gold. That we got plenty of. I don't know if we have any gilded blackstone. I have a tendency to melt that down. Uh, and I know I brought some back from my last trip. I think. But it would have been in my little shulker box from the other side. I need to get the Piglin Trading Center, or, yeah, the Piglin Trading Hall put together, too. I've been looking at different designs from Nimbom and Ilmango and 
Cortezarino and Raysworks and trying to decide just how complicated I, I want to go with a build. Alright, back to what we were doing. Oh, missing. There we go. Man, yeah. I don't know. Hmm. That's a tough one. I don't know. He wanders. That's why they call him a wandering trader. There he is. Right in front of you. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah. I. Hmm. That doesn't fix the pro problem with the first one. I want I don't know what I want I don't know let me step away from that maybe do it on uh, maybe this isn't a live stream kind of project <laughs> maybe I just need to go watch more Kralis I mean, who doesn't want to watch more Kralis? Uh, there we go. Maybe I should go uh, netherite hunting. Still have stuff that I haven't converted yet. Like, all my... So I've got all my Silk Touch stuff as Netherite, but I don't have any of my Fortune stuff as Netherite. I mean, except for the hoe. And I gotta get my uh, Burning Sword up upgraded too. traded with. I kind of wish they gave you XP too. What? <laughs> I thought we had some green concrete. That's just mean. An ancient debris. Oh man. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Do you know how hard this stuff is to find? Although I say that, and there, there's guys that uh, are, are in their thousands of ancient debris. It's like, man, I don't know. All right, I got my, yeah, I got my helmet of Pickland Diplomacy. You know what? Since I can't figure out the roof, let's, uh, let's change gears. Is it five sand and four gunpowder? No, four sand and five gunpowder. We'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight.
We should probably do some rockets too, but first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One stack of TNT. Two stack of TNT. Uh, no, I just need one of those. Three, there we go there. Still gotta get a, a little more sugar cane in on this. I needed two more. Alright, let's go uh, drop off some rockets back in storage because I know I've been <laughs> I was going to say I've been burning through the rockets, but that, that seems a little too something. <laughs> oh, um, all right. I guess I'm bringing three stacks with me. Uh, I got food. I got TNT. It's dynamite. I need to go empty some of this. Let me let me uh run back to my base. Because we're gonna change gears. That that roof just isn't coming together and I don't I don't know what it is I don't like, so I'm gonna have to go hunt down some more roof building tutorials and try that. Oh, I'm gonna put air quotes around this as my base too. It, it's my shack of temporariness. Come on. That is clearly the night sky. Soon. Alright. Uh, I'm not going to hang on to the soul soil souls and magma blocks. I'll leave that project box in there. I don't need the quartz with me. Um, I don't need the... Oh, that bone block should be back over somewhere else. Don't know why I have that with me. I don't know why I have that with me or that one there. So let's go, uh. Magma. Ooh. Colors. Bone, stone, some potions. Is that nighttime yet? There we go. And I'm back. I just need to find nope. ancient debris now. How do I get ancient debris? Oh, uh, we go hunting in the nether. How long is that like going to take? go hunting for some ancient debris? I mean, I wouldn't like to, but I feel like for this exact moment in time, we need to. Unless someone has ancient debris. No. I do need ancient debris. Uh, and you're not going to find it quickly either. Just fair warning. I know, but for future. Um. I thought I had more shulker boxes somewhere. Inside the church. Oh no, never mind, those are all mine. No, I, I, I thought I had like a couple of empty ones floating around. Or, yeah, no, no, no that's monsters. right. Huh? What? 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 Wait, says the person who's got some in, who's got a, a little, you know. Uh, that's because I'm lighting the entire neighborhood. So be kind. Crew of shulkers over over in the back row of the church. Are they Baptist shulkers? Lighting the they're neighborhood. All in the back row. Lighting the neighborhood. Mm hmm. A likely story. A true story. All right. What else can I do? Uh, I just need to free up inventory space. 
Yeah, let's hang on to those. Um, you know what? Since we're gonna be in the Here. nether, let, yeah, let me get my sword of smite right makes right. I don't need my hoe in the nether, do I? No. And let me swap out for an infinity bow because I just don't feel like uh, redoing that one. Can I like box them in and keep them like a pet? What the wandering trader? Yeah. Uh, he'll despawn eventually, no matter what you do. Oh, that's surprising. Are you actually coming to the Nether for this? Yeah, I'm loading my stuff. Ah, nice. All right, and the other thing I but you know probably... that I have a stuff problem. What? None of us has a stuff problem. I have a stuff problem. I'm gonna take off my comfy boots and I'm gonna grab Old these stuff. guys. Yes, I already have my gold hat of Nene Piggies. <laughs> uh, you know, after wearing netherite armor all this time, the diamond looks a little jarring. Yeah, if only other people had netherite armor. If only people well, on the server knew how to share. Really? You going there? I just went there. It's happening. Okay. Alright. Alright, I see how this is going to be. <laughs> Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six of you. Alright. I need my chest oh. plate, maybe. Not really, because I fly. Yep. I saw a wonderful exchange on Twitter, and I didn't think I'd ever say something like that. Okay. Uh, Eli Beatmaker, the one who does all those uh, Hermit remixes with the various mm -hmm. sound clips and the techno beats, uh, okay. posted on Twitter that they didn't know the right... They couldn't... E they're so bad at Minecraft, they couldn't remember the recipe for a shulker box. So Zombie Cleo replies back with, It's easy. You walk into somebody's shop, you pay a couple of diamonds, and poof, you get a shulker box. Oh. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh, I need totems. Uh, yeah, you, you might need a couple of totems. I've not died down there recently. Much. This time. Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting. You use the uh, mail overflow as storage. Yeah. I keep getting confused. So you don't. me forget i gotta up, uh, uh, upgrade our gems trader for the the new gem textures or should i make a second one one that sells the old gems and one that sells the new gems i think that's a better option you think that's a better one i do okay okay um you said i don't need the hoe in the nether no, you don't. A pick and a shovel and okay. something to fight with. Do I need my shears? Uh, no. No, you shouldn't need shears. Nothing harvestable shears? All right. And what about my chest piece? Um, I plan on flying a little bit, so... 
I've already got a tunnel started, so I figured I'd fly down to the end and continue it. Is that a... Okay. Well, if you want to bring a flint and steel, you can. Why is that for? Oh. And I can't remember if a bucket yeah. of lava is advisable or not. A bucket of lava? No. <laughs> Why would you need water. a bucket of lava? I mean, a bucket uh, of no, water. Because you, you can't place a bucket of water in the nether. It evaporates immediately. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So if you're looking to empty some buckets of water, that would be a thing. No. Okay, I think I'm all set. I have right. something to eat. I have something to fly. I have something to shoot. I have totems mm -hmm. of undying, and I have things to break stuff and break people. Grab some empty shulker boxes, too. I got that. I got six of them. Okay. And Just, I've got um, my gold hat on. Don't don't forget, the the piglins will get very, very angry at you if you uh, open up your any box while they're standing there. Oh, uh, okay. I'll try. Oh, um... I'm not going to worry about it right now, one, but no, no, I just forgot that I really need to change all these for uh, iron doors. Because the piglins keep opening them. No! <laughs> no! Oh, are you kidding me? Come on, go away. Did it go away? Yeah. Yeah, eventually. I feel like I should be standing here in the fire going, this is fine. Alright, come on. Down the hole before he comes back. Well, this is ominous. Nah, it's fine. Oh, wow. Hi, guys. All right, so you, you can do it Medic's way, which has been move over two blocks and dig a tunnel. Or... Mm -hmm. Where is that tunnel I started? I think it was down this way. without the flying into lava. Oh, yeah. Are you following or no? Is it the right one? I was waiting yeah, to find out if it was the right way. Yeah. Oh, did you just... Went too far. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I just wanted to make sure you didn't, like, fly into the lava. Not yet, but with me, that is always a possibility. Is that it? What? This? This stuff. Nope. No, yeah. that's Blackstone. Hmm. We were so excited about that once. Ah, uh, you just flew somewhere. I didn't know we were flying. <gasps> I don't like flying in here. You know that. Which way did you go? Down the tunnel. But the tunnel has lava. Literal yep. lava. Yep. You, you'll see where the tunnel stops. Uh, uh, I don't like this game! <laughs> <laughs> I like watching that scene in Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> Which one are you talking about? Oh, they're flying through the trees. Oh, oh, you're talking about one of the good Star Wars. Yeah, I, the other ones don't exist. Alright, uh, I think it was... Eh, here's good enough. Wait. And now we would just burrow? Hang on. Uh... Rigor, C H T 
hog hole. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna tunnel for a little ways. Just this uh, too hey. high. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, yep. Well, uh, we'll have some lava to clean up in a little bit. Back up. This is an Arcadius project. <gasps> oh! I just saw what you were doing! <laughs> Back Did you ring the flint and steel? No. Ah, okay. I didn't think you were serious about that. Yes! Would I joke about that? Oh, my. Yeah, but you see, here's the thing. Netherite won't blow up. So now... But I will. You look for the, now you look for the bits of netherite. And anything else that you want. I don't know what they look like. Uh, like little cinnamon buns. I know you know what a cinnamon looks like. I feel like you're not being... Yes. Um, I feel like you're not the, being the, sarcastic. No. Though. No, I'm not. The, the top and the bottom legit look like cinnabons. Then you can usually use the debris that from the blow-ups to stop the lava. Because you do need to check. It could actually be, it could legit be in the lava. Oh. Or near where the lava is. And uh, this is also where I've been picking up all the gravel, too. I don't know if you noticed that we finally have a influx of gravel. Oh, we'll need that. That's important. And quartz. I've been picking up a lot of quartz this way, too. And, uh, but how much TNT else? do we go through? Oh, not much. I brought two stacks with me. I mean... And we'll if find we're ancient tree that way? Yeah, eventually. <laughs> Just uh, make sure there's no piglin around when you go mine the gold. They don't like that either. Any of the gold. Any type of gold, of any variety. What we'll have, uh, people who are <gasps> unhappy with it. I see them! What, the gold? Or the netherite? No! Yep. The debris! There you go. Yep, there's the ancient debris. Oh, man. You found a couple of them. I'll let you have those. You know. So that way I'm not accused of hogging all the resources. What cuts it down? A pick. Yay! You got an achievement. And that's used to make... That is used to make netherite. So what you're going to do is you're going to smelt that which will get you one netherite scrap, two netherite scraps, and two gold ingots makes one netherite ingot, which can be used to upgrade one item. So you begin to see why you need a lot of this stuff. Not cool. What? That you need a lot, or that you haven't found as much as you yeah, want? how much to? you need. Well, yeah. I get the feeling by reaction that the fact that I just found three in one spot was moderately yes. like achievement yeah. unlocked. Yeah. Oh, that was three? I thought that was just two. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, no, that's that that yeah, I, I think the bit the biggest veins are four. But usually you see them in ones and twos. Although always check the blocks around where you found them. Because uh, they can appear diagonal from the one you're looking at. 
and that kind of thing. Mm so just like so when I you're hunting diamonds. Uh, you don't necessarily have to go that far. Like, maybe a block or two in the general area. I still can't believe you found that nope. much out the gate. Yeah, be mad. Um, There's nobody the around. Peeps? Hurry up. Oh, uh, speaking of those guys, the you know how you can lure them by uh, tossing a gold anything and they'll come pick it up and look mm -hmm. at it and be all happy and stuff, and you just kind of yeah. lead them around that way? Am I wrong for I mean, wanting to be able to do that with villagers? Like, you know, toss an emerald? No, I've been wanting to do that forever. I kind of a little bit do that. <laughs> because as long as they're hungry, if you toss bread on the ground, they'll run for it. Oh. So I just toss like one bread and no, 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 no. What, what, what was that? No. Oh, did you find some lava? There was lava. Yeah. Did Did you find some happy fun sauce? No. 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 You You don't agree with Tango that it's happy fun sauce? No. Negative happy. All right, while you're doing that, let me get the uh, next little bit going. I'm in the wall. Yeah, FYI. but you're not in the wall. I'm blowing up. Go boom. I said a boom, chicka boom. No. What are we going to do with all this netherrack? Uh, honestly, I haven't been keeping <gasps> as much of it. What are you gasping about? You've been throwing even I resources. Even I have limits. You're becoming one of them. them. Maybe. Maybe just a little. Ooh, what if we could use dye to color the netherrack bricks? Um, I actually saw somebody mention that one of the one of the Minecraft developers asked about stuff that people would like to see in a future update. On uh, asked on Twitter what people Hungry. would like to see in a future update, and somebody mentioned the ability to dye blocks, like take take the colors that we have and use it to like stain wood or something like that. That would that be kind of a effect. kick, but like. I could see that. Um, I could also see the ability to do more complex dyes than what you can already. Like with leather, if you start with blue and then you add white, it, it'll create whatever the, the natural combining of those two colors is. Light blue. But it only does that but it only does that for leather. And then you add more white and it lightens it, and you add more white and it lightens it, and that kind of thing. So you can really get some intricate colors by well, to be fair, mixing once you have that and adjusting. Already in, it doesn't make sense mm -hmm. to not have it for everything else. Once they've already kind well, of just added that dynamic. Yeah, that that's kind of that. That was my thing. Is so why can't we do that for wool? Or for banners. Um, I, I can kind of see not doing that for concrete. They just don't want to give like, more storage yet. It's not like you add more. Well, that was... Uh, it looks like something kind of like that was a thing that they're ah, adding. I ran out of hallway to back up. Uh, I got us. It Tons looks of like it looks like they're adding something very similar to that in uh, the next the next go round. There, there's this ability to create a an ad hoc sack or satchel, so you can kind of group stacks of items and even stacks of unrelated items into a sack. 
uh, how you got that sack was a little bit of a mystery. But it looks like it would be a thing. So, you know, you've got one red flower, one orange flower, and two blue flowers. So here's oh, a way to combine so them all. Building stuff. Yeah. It doesn't look like there's an easy way to... There's, there's no automatic adding them into your inventory or anything like that. But even still, having having something anything that makes inventory management just a little bit easier. I'm just thinking, even like when you're transporting from like somewhere big like this, like when you're looting stuff. Yeah. And then could we possibly dump it into... Um, that, that was one of the things that a lot of people were asking about was it would be kind of nice if you could take the sack and then say dump it on a hopper and have it actually extract everything from the sack into the into whatever the hopper's feeding into. That would be very cool. That would be very cool. See you, Becky. Hmm? Oh, I oh, usually no, don't start cool. picking that stuff up until I get the lava cleared out. I, I've burnt too much yeah, stuff I that I actually the wanted. Huh? I gotta work around the lava to get yeah. the lava stopped. There's more lava. Yep. Oh, it's less lava, not more lava. coming from come on is it like one little surf block no it's uh, not one little source block no it's not one little source block <coughs> bless you uh, I I think we hit maybe the bottom of a lake or something. Yep. I mean, are we find the lady down here that gives us another right sword? Or is that the wrong legend? Wrong kind of lake? Wrong legend. Yeah. So there's no Are you sure there was no lava lake? in that lake? No. Hey, does this... Does this make it the first lake you'd go swimming in and actually be warm? Yes. And you guys would complain about Maybe. it all the time, and I would be warm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think this is the, uh, the edge of the lake or something. I feel like the... I need to look up the lyrics to Lake of Fire or something. I'm not as familiar with my Johnny Cash as I probably should be. Oh yeah, these are all like source blocks. Yeah. Yeah. There appears to be a few. fire. Why don't we? Hey, I figured out what to do with all that nether. <laughs> Plug holes? Mm-hmm. Most of that wall taken care of. Mm -hmm. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please be quiet while we dance precariously on the edge of the netherrack. I mean, this is hard to do and not die. It's the not dying part that's kind of, you know, that's the challenge. Anybody can dance on the edge of the nether. It's dancing on the edge of the nether and not dying, that's, that's the real trick. That didn't help any. What? Oh, maybe it did. Oh my. Oh, nope, 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 nope. That's, that's too far. That's not how you do that's, that. That's too far. I'm going to rename myself to Icarus. I went too far to the edge. Did. Ah. Uh, watch. There'll be a single block of netherite in here. It'll probably still feel totally worth it. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. That, that was... <sighs> yeah, there's the... Oh, it didn't even catch all the dynamite. Blowing more stuff up is helpful to the destruction of the lava lake. Well, I mean, it was in a bow shot. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's Literally. not how help happens. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that how that how, that's how that happens. It on that side? So what? Get past all the lava on that side? Yep. Mm. New path. New path? Yeah. You know, maybe down one of the other hallways. Well, we can do that too, but I happen to know that there are a couple of netherite just past the lava. And it makes me wonder oh. how many are in the middle of the lava. Ow! There we go. Potion? Oh. Arcadius is always using. Oh, yeah, yeah, the fire resistance potion. Yeah, we, we probably mm -hmm. should have brought a few. since it's just the two of us without the artifice of the uh, entire game here's okay. a question for you okay we, we did that uh, Star Trek draft pick where you got to draft mm -hmm. up your own starship exactly the way you wanted with all the characters from uh, from all the series yeah so let's that try, was fun 
Yeah, that was fun. I mean, except for that epic troll at the end, but you know. <laughs> that was beautiful. Sometimes only inspiration to you. strikes. <laughs> it was only beautiful okay. to you. <laughs> okay, fair. Okay. Oh, are there so, piggies? Wait, quick, uh, are there piggies? Piggies? I, I don't see any over here. There might be some on the other side of the lava. If you hear angry yells and see don't flaming arrows coming at you, then yes, there are. If not, then don't no, tell probably them. not. They don't know. Don't don't tell who what. Exactly. Okay. Anyway, continue. So we did our uh, draft pick. <laughs> so in, in the in the style of the draft pick, this time it's a fantasy world draft pick. You need to do a Magnificent Seven style defense of a town. Who, out of all fantasy literature, you can cross all different, you know, if you want to cross D&D &D with The Witcher, with The Dresden Files, uh, what, whatever, just oh. as long as it's fantasy literature, you get to pick your seven to help you defend the town. Magnificent Seven style. Who is your seven? Holy and why? cow. That's a big question. And Magnificent Seven is the shootout one, right? Yeah. Yeah, done twice, and even the second one was okay. I, I still I like the Yule Burner one better, that. but it had Yule Burner. Huh? I think I remember you, you us did. watching that. Yeah, you probably remember more so for Chris Pratt being in it, but... No, actually, I wasn't... No, Chris Pratt... Well, while he did do an impressive feat, I mean, let's just talk about what it took to get from his The Office body <laughs> to his guard, like, for any human being. That is a thing. Yeah. But... Um, no, I remember so... Oh, wasn't Aragorn in that one? Uh, no, you're thinking of a different one. You're thinking of Appaloosa. Oh. That's the one where, uh, where, um... Doggone it, now I can't remember his name. Uh, he walks around with an eight-gauge shotgun. Viggo Mortensen. Yes. Uh, that, that's the one where Viggo Mortensen says, like, all of eight words, which seems to be a strong suit in a lot of characters. Yeah, but, like, let's just talk about how he was comfortable with that weapon and how, from an acting yeah. standpoint, amazing it is <laughs> that he gets, like, all up in those characters' well, psyche. I, I, I was getting ready to say, he, he seems to be one of those people that gets epically into character. Yes. And uh, by, by all accounts, he actually <laughs> took that 8-gauge shotgun Everywhere he went, everywhere. It, it even caused a l minor ruckus at a couple of restaurants outside of shooting, because even when he wasn't on set shooting, he carried that eight gauge shotgun with him. I'll take that. And California is not exactly noted for uh, its open carry laws. Being pro gun, yeah. Yeah. I mean, as long as it's in a movie, it's okay. But, you know. Anywho. Um, okay, Anywho. so remind me what heist the Magnificent Seven did, because that changes. It is not a did. heist. Uh, it is a town that is being... Uh, that has a marauder problem. They, they would come in, they would loot everything in the town, and, the, you know, deplete all its resources, and then ride off until the next time they decided to loot the town and okay and the town said nay nay yeah the the town gathered their funds they hired a person who hires a crew of seven so well seven total including the person that the town hired so you are it's the one the and you need seven. to hire six more people because mm. you are one of the magnificent seven 
So you need to hire six, six more people to defend a town. Yep. From a vastly... You are vastly outnumbered. Okay. So there is some... So there is going to need to be some training of towns people involved. You know, you'll, you'll need to have somebody that can help... Uh, help teach the town folk how to manage for themselves. Okay. Or at least not be completely useless. Okay. That's usually a good skill to have in a fight, not being useless. Mm -hmm. Generally. Mm, oh, that's tough. Okay, I can already tell you who is not on my team. Oh? <laughs> Dresden? I, I mean, huh? You're, you're not going to have Dresden on? You're not going to have Dresden on your team? No, I don't need him to do some random promise to a witch without talking to the rest of the group. That's semi-fair. Because he's the kind of person who would just go, Oh, I see a solution to this problem, but I don't need to talk to anybody else who's going to have to deal with these consequences. Okay. So, yeah, no, Dresden is so not on my list. Um, ooh, I, that's a big one. I feel like the completely open universe is a little too open. Okay, so... So what's a good limiting factor? Then uh, then, then let's stick to the D&D &D type fantasy. So, Eberron, Forgotten Realms, uh, any of the any of the D&D &D canon books. Ooh, okay. Th does, that, does that close it without being too restrictive that no that, i think that helps i mean i mean that's a lot of canon like yeah that, that that's, that's still, still a, a wide lot of that, that's a wide cast of characters that's some good people some bad people some interesting people um mm -hmm. i want dane really i want dane why dane because he has a wonderful balance of knowing when we have become men. Are we, are we talking about the same Dane? Yeah. Yeah. The one who travels with Lee in the Dreaming Dark? No. No, I got his name wrong. Um, the priest. What was the priest's name? Oh, oh. Uh, is it... Darian? Darian, there we go. Thank you. Yeah, he rolls okay. with Gaji. Yes. Yeah, I yes. want him to be that okay, person okay. to like. No, no, no. I, I, I was totally gonna. Uh, and like, ah, uh, oh, guys. <laughs> yeah, if, if you did, if you didn't suggest him, I was gonna ask why. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we need Arcadia someone to be like. A, Arcadia has a Star Wars theme going in chat too. Um. I don't know if I'm making progress or not. Nope, 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 nope. That that's the opposite of progress. Floatsome. Huh? Um he is one of the Warforged in Oh, I didn't okay, I didn't realize I thought everything was Star Wars in his. Yeah, in the in the in the same Blade of the Flame series that you were just drawing from. Oh yeah, no, I'm good now. I was trying to think of who in Star Wars had that name. Oh. <laughs> like I don't remember any Star Wars character having that name. That's a coincidence. <laughs> okay, so you get Dirian. That's one. You still need five more. Because I feel like he could teach too. Yeah, he could. He could teach. But like, I mean, we and, need someone who's and it's like always a good to have teacher, a cleric like, around. Like, like, I've never heard a party say, "Oh man, we totally don't need a cleric." Healing is generally a happiness. Although he wasn't really like as much the healy healy kind of cleric as the. I mean, he could a little bit. The other kind. He could a little bit, but that just didn't seem yeah. like. His uh, no, it, it was definitely not his uh, primary skill set. We we can we can frame it like that, right? Yep. Um. 
So definitely him. Um, does Five it have more. to be a good guy? Uh, you're hiring him. So as long as they're the kind of bad guy that once paid stays paid, that that's totally on you. Well, I mean, because I, I know that, I know that there's friends. at least a few of those honorable enemy types that uh, you know, yeah, they're a bad guy. But if you hire them, they're your bad guy. And let's be honest, that's most of my characters. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, that that is. Isn't that right, Arcadius? That that is that not most of uh, Reyes' characters? Not saying anything. Uh, don't forget that he's on a delay too. Oh, okay. Because we still haven't fixed his uh, mic. Yeah. Time. All right, I'm going to really need to think about this. What are yours? Uh, well, Darian was definitely going to be one. Uh, I need a stronger caster. Uh, I'd probably have Leah from the Artificer from the Dreaming Dark series because having an Artificer is never anything. a bad idea. Uh, and she's a good out-of-the-box kind of Artificer. She, she's she's that utility infielder that you need. Yeah, yeah, probably not the strongest sorcerer, probably not the, the strongest fighter, but you know what? Uh, when you need something in a pinch... When you go, I need she a can bomb. Be just about Does anybody anything. have a? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And she but goes, "Wait, hold all, on. What's you that always, over there? You I always, you always, you never go wrong having a good utility infielder, uh, especially yeah. when you have six, you know, six rolls to fill. Um, I, I was actually okay pulling from a couple of a, a wider. A wider range because I wouldn't mind having okay. somebody like uh, listens to wind you know that that strong druidic shapeshifter oh yeah okay because that that handles a lot of your scouting and combat okay uh, so that's two also you know I, now I that we've done this the second time our stream is going to become like the nerd stream just so you know yeah i know i i already kind of figured that okay. was you know I, okay. i'm not gonna fight the anyway enemy, as long but... as you're cool with that continue oh, oh oh that was almost bad that was almost bad i hit the wrong button and tossed my pick oh don't do that uh, anyway, well, the good thing about <laughs> well the good thing about covering it in netherite is that means that it won't uh it won't burn. Oh. So you lose it in lava and it'll just float in the lava. That's convenient. Yes. That is one of the reasons why why people are expending so much uh, time and effort trying to get netherite. And I didn't think I'd say this, but I, I need I need more netherite. Oh, I have plenty if you would like some. No, oh, I'm. Gee, if only there was some netherrack around us. You bet there's not. Yeah. Somewhere, somewhere, yeah, somewhere that I could get some netherrack. Hang on, I'm gonna have to wander but a little not, bit. But there's not. So. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so that covers your druid, which is a good thing to have. So I, I too had Darian in there. Um, I'm not sure who I need a because you are right that healing is not Darian's strong suit. So nope. I need I need a better healer or a more uh, proficient healer. I don't, I don't even know that proficient's the word I'm looking for. Do we have to justify how we were able to hire them? No. No, we're, we're going to assume that with enough time and finagling, you could make something work. Okay. Why? Did that resolve your uh, selection problems? 
or at least no i was thinking for you you don't have to justify the um how you got them i mean there are some dragons in those books oh <laughs> <laughs> or ancient creatures. I, I, no, no. I, I think I, I think for a dragon, I might have to make you work on that one. That uh, okay? Yeah, no. It, it's not gold for nothing. Eating dragons for free. Uh. <laughs> oh man. I mean, I'm just saying. No, because in that case you go, oh yeah, I'm totally going to take Odin out of the Dresden Files and uh, Mab out of the Dresden Files and uh, what what other god no, or goddess no or, you know. Okay, so it's got to be like people, people. Yeah, it, it's got to be like people, people. Or okay. as close to people, people. Because let's be honest, some, some of them are not... Uh, not people, people? Well, some of them are not people people anyway, but not that kind of not people people. Does that make sense? Oh no, I, I, I'm, I'm descending into gibberish. I've been hanging around you too long. I need more nouns. Enjoy it. Embrace the dark side. <laughs> do you have cookies? <laughs> I do. <laughs> Actually, right now, I'm like <laughs> carrots, but... Is that what you brought for food? Because, uh, look... If you told me you brought nothing but cookies for food, I, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't have thought twice about it. I mean, if I had thought about it, I would have grabbed them. Because I have them. This just happened to be what was in my inventory. It's time. There are piggies, yeah. FYI. Okay. Yeah, but are they the kind that get mad at you about gold and stuff? I can't tell. They're very squeaky. Anyway, so we were trying to find a really good sorcerer. We are trying to find a good sorcerer. We are trying to find a better healer. Um, oh, I'd probably also take what Gavin from the uh, uh, Draconic Prophecies trilogy. I thought about him, but he's a little special. What, 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 what character is not special? It's okay. I'll wait. No, but he's like, like the like, the Fred. He's kind. not special Ed special. Got some follower issues. Some oh oh about following orders kind of issues. Following orders or following the wrong person. Oh. Uh... Like I feel like he needs a class in how to identify the bad guy. He's the one giving the monologue. No, I don't think that was ever the problem. I, I, I think I know where you're coming from with that, but I always thought that was more a function of how he got stuck in that company in the first place. That's fair. Like I don't I don't think he's set out to be a part of that. Or, you know, like that wasn't his his one and only goal was to like, aha, I will follow him. It's more like he busted me out of jail, and I'm kind of stuck with him. So, until oh, no. something better comes along. How do I unfire? What do you mean? Oh, I caught fire a little bit. Oh. But only a little bit? Only a little bit. Well, then, you know, enjoy the warmth and let it burn. As long as you don't do that too frequently, you'll be okay. Jode was a good healer, but Jode also, like, really had some, like, I'm going to do my own yeah. thing issues. Yeah, yeah, that's why that's why I didn't think Jode. Because um, he will totally, like, sell your sword out from underneath you. Oh, there we go. That's the lava source there. Okay. Watch out, watch out. Watch out. What An accident happened. Oh. The falling lava. Goggy? I, got, I think here. the last ceiling source. Oh, oh, um... 
Yeah. Uh, um, shoot. The Shardax. Um, Arcadius brought it up in chat. What's her name? Why am I drawing a blank? Again. Again. Um, uh, her name is the Shardax, duh. Only for a dwarf. Oh, okay. And, and I realize that's me saying that, so may maybe I should say that with a little less... Yeah, I'd, I'd love to hear you continue with that one. Mm -hmm. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Man, now all, all I have stuck in my head is inappropriately labeled stalagodite mites, or however that person pronounced oh. it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, I, I listened to the audiobook version after I read the book version, and, uh, yeah, I understand. I understand the frustration. That was, uh... That was something. So seriously, we uh, cleared Sierra. all this lava out and uh, none? Not a one? I still. Anyway, her name is Sabira. Sabira. Okay. Sabira de Denise. Oh, yeah, these are the guys that get mad when you uh, dig up gold and open boxes. Okay. I would not recommend doing oh, either unless okay. you're looking for a fight. Although there's only two of them, so we can totally take them. Especially since they got a midget over there. Aye. Good fantasy healers. That's a hard one. Yeah, I, I you know, when, when I was coming up with the concept, it seemed like that should be an easy one to figure out. And then now that I'm actually sitting here going, who, who was a good healer? And, and I'm looking at the list that are the more recent list that Arcadius posted in chat, and I, I noticed that there's plenty of combat, but even then you'd still want a, uh, you'd want a, a little more distance attack too. I mean, the Queen of Stone, yeah, she, she's she got the distance attack. It, it's at least one look length away. Uh, And let's face it, Darian is uh, one one knife's throw distance, and then uh, any further than that. Which paladin from Marked for Death? There were a couple. Well, they started out with a couple. Are you talking about the only one that survived? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, spoiler alert. Sorry. The book's been out for how long now? I I honestly didn't even think about that <laughs> that part. Yeah, but um Ow <sighs> Yeah, she she would have some heals, but uh, but again, um Paladins seem to have really limited heals. So while Darien wasn't a paladin, his uh, cleric level was clearly a lot lower than his assassin Although, level. Although, here's the question. Do you really mm -hmm. need a healer as long as you can make healing potions? Because isn't that also easier to have people just have stuff that does it? Um, well, there is that too. <coughs> so we, we come back to having an artificer, you know, whip up a couple of wands of healing and, you know, a healing belt and that kind of thing. Uh, that, that could... Yeah. Uh, that could change that Because we can totally too. make all of that. Yeah. She could, like, get everybody set up. STNT up there. Yep. Um, Are the piggies gone? They're away a little bit. I don't know how far it is that they can hear stuff like that. Like, they, they have this supernatural sense or something that tells you when uh, when something's been dug up. 
So if an angry horde comes over the horizon, then we know that uh, we're too close. Yeah, because you did that, then you don't need to worry about healer. I would definitely want... I mean, if you got the storm guy, that takes care of that kind of elemental magic. Yeah. Yeah, he, he does have a lot of a lot of lightning and wind. Uh, fire's also nice. Who Who's a really good fire specialist? See, that's what you want Dresden for. When a good Again, fireball is I, what you need. I need not the maverick who's going to go, I know what I'll do. I'll be right back. Or sometimes not even say, I'll be right back. <laughs> All right. You might want to step back. I'm definitely doing that. Oh, seriously? Healing lava. That was the last one. I thought we... Uh, I still got 52 more dynamite with me, so... Ooh, I see some. Yep. All right, um... I feel like I should have been writing down those names as we went. I gotcha. So let's start at the beginning. So <laughs> we know we got Durian. Yep. No, we got Lay. Mm-hmm. We got listens to win. Listens to win. And we're looking for fire. Oh, and the storm guy. And this and uh, Gavin. All right, so we got a druid, the elemental magic, an artificer, who can kind of sort of double as a healer. Your mm -hmm. cleric. And. Uh, the cleric does help if uh, any undead get involved, too. Yes. Fourteen. They're not going to be happy if I open a box, are they? That is correct. They are not going to be happy yeah. if you open a box. No, the ones with the floppy ears, the one with the dead ears, are they don't care. Well, I guess technically they added a floppy ear to the zombie guys, so... Um, yeah, that's not confusing at all. Nope. I step back since it looks like you're burying more stuff. Yep. Uh, keep an eye out real quick. Hold on, they're looking. They're paying attention to you. Uh, zombie dude is. Zombie dude. Okay, you should be okay. Oh, yeah, the zombie guys don't care. And it's already okay. up. If they were going to get mad, they, they would have been mad already. Okay. So how many more am I missing? Uh, one, two, three, four, two. I need two more. Uh, oh, 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 what about oh, the oh, archers? Oh. The archer. Yeah. And did you actually pick um Sabira? Yes. Okay. Then you need one. Yeah, I definitely need an archer. Uh, what about the, um... He was pretty awesome. Uh, the archer in... Who's like, um... Not a werewolf, but... Oh, 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 oh. Hang on. Hang on. Arr! I forgot it flows as fast as water here. Um, oh, Birch. Yeah. Yes, Birch. Yes. Yeah, that's a very good call. Yeah, definitely, definitely Birch. Besides, somebody's going to sass everybody in order. Hey, I mean, if it works. 
I feel like Birch and Durian could get along really well. Yes. If you're if you're trying to build your fantasy crossover series, that that uh that could work very. Uh, oh. Sorry. I don't think they're actually technically alive in the same time period, but no, actually, um, I know for a fact that they're not. Are you sure? Because it's all it's all after the morning, isn't it? Uh, it is all after the morning, but the book that Birch is in is right after the morning because they're still dealing with like purge issues. And I think Durian's is set a little bit further out. So, I mean, they crossed over a little bit, just not their main story arcs are not in the same timeline. Oh, um... At least to the best of my remembering. It's been a while since I read those. Sorry, I'm trying to preemptively deal with some lava. That seems fair. Yeah, we're, we're still going to have some to deal with. Because that looks like it's uh, lower than I expected. I still wouldn't mind either one more distance guy or somebody with uh, more elemental. I'd like a little more variety in my elemental, because so far i got two guys that deal primarily with lightning. Although, I mean... If you're going to have somebody do elemental damage, lightning's a good one to do. Lightning is a very good one to do. Oh. Arcady oh. said the same thing. Shifter from Marked. Yeah. I just saw it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Although we never said if we definitely wanted the Paladin from Mark for Death. I feel like no. Because he and Sabir are not going to get along well. She and Sabir? Or she and Sabir, but point remains. Yeah. And also maybe not even well with Durian because she seemed a little more uptight and I feel like he's a good mix of like, yes, these are important <laughs> values we should uphold and no, that one we can waver on. Uh, isn't that kind of the textbook definition between the cleric and the paladin? Yeah. Like, like Yeah. You know, the, the, the cleric's just a smidge more uh, flexible. Hello, Beach Duck. You know, the, the whole, this is the order versus, eh, they're kind of guidelines-ish adjacent. I mean, it all came all right in the end, right? Where'd the ancient stuff go? I, I picked up a couple. Oh, okay. Are you picking up some of those uh, like quartz while you got it? Yeah, no. No, it's not going to disappear. Okay. So, so you really wouldn't pair any paladin with... Uh... Oh. I lost one of my... Oh, it's right there. Dur -dur -dur. All right, let, let, let's be honest, though. There's only been one paladin that you've ever gamed with that actually, you know, wasn't a problem. You mean Sir Eric O'Jen? Yeah. Sir Eric O'Jen was an awesome paladin. Mm-hmm. All right, you got that patch of quartz? Yep. I don't know. 
I still feel like we maybe need an explosive or a tactician. We don't really have that in this group. Ah, we need tactics. I mean, Lee could totally handle explosives if she wanted to. Yeah, but we also don't want to divide. We also don't want to divide her up too much, too, because you can't. You know, you know, you, you've got six people, and you you're already spread thin enough. Fair. So instead of, <laughs> I mean, is Durian good enough you, at, tac at, at tactics at tactics or being a tactician? Yeah. Or maybe that's why you grab Ganji along with them. Like they kind of come as a team. Was punch them in the face. That's that's not how tactics work. I don't know. It could work. I am pretty sure the tactic of I punch it in the face is not the definition hey. of the word tactic. We we've had games where that was the perfectly appropriate strategy. Sometimes you can get away with it. I'm not disagreeing with that. However, <laughs> For what we're talking about, I don't think I punch it in the face is the most useful. Uh, I thought about Thorn, but that's... Oh, we haven't pulled anyone from... um. Since we're mixing the genres, we haven't pulled anything from uh, Lord of the Rings. No. But I mean, I and love the Aragorn Lord of the Rings. Kind of. Oh, watch out! Oh, you talking about maybe Aragorn for your tactics? Yeah. I mean, he kind of did that already. If we're going by book Aragorn. Yes, I agree with you. Oh, yes. The the movie, no. The movies are a fun diversion of difference. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're going with that. I mean, they weren't... Yes, definitely. As far as movie oh, adaptations go, they weren't bad. No, they weren't bad, but they're definitely like... Just we're we're going by book characters, definitely by books. It, you, you keep throwing Thorn in there. Um, I don't think so though, because she's a little too of the the. She's sneaky. a good solo. The, the, if we were doing an assassin gig. It, it, yeah, yeah. If we were trying to do a secret assassination or a heist. Like, if this was a heist gig, I'd totally have Thorn in that. Um, what else do you get in your heist crew? Because that would be different. That would uh, be very tactics, different. Tactics, yes. Training, uh, I think she might punch a recruit before the bad guys do. Yeah, like, if we're doing this with civilians, I would not take her. Because she would hurt somebody. Or, actually, honestly, I can tell you exactly how Thorn would resolve the situation. So, um, okay. these guys don't want to be bothered by the Marauders anymore, right? Mm-hmm. Let's just kill them. Oh, kill the town to, you know, nothing yeah, for the Marauders to go after, after so... Fine. Exactly, and it solves the problem. Per, con per now, the letter of the law. Is it... Is it Thorn making that suggestion? Or Ray asked making that suggestion. No, I could see her dagger making that suggestion. Okay, that that's a little more fair. Yeah. And her going, yeah. Mm, okay, maybe. Like, you know, all, all they want's the town, right? So, uh. Just, move just don't all have the a town anymore. I mean, you don't town. necessarily kill all the people. Exactly, yeah. That, yeah. Just move all the people the and burn the town. To that problem. I do not nominate her for the Magnificent Seven. But again, if we are like getting a train or breaking yeah, into a building, yeah. she is totally on my list.
All right. It's about quarter after, but I got 21 dynamite left. Shall we finish off this last row of dynamite? Heck yes. Yeah, we'd be fools not to. I came to the nether and didn't die. Yep. Yeah. Of course, I just said that. <laughs> For a heist, we have to worry a little bit less about a alignment. I don't really want Sabira on my heist gig. No. I think I still want Birch as a lookout. Yes. Uh, yeah. No, you, you definitely want Birch. Uh, you probably don't want Darian on your heist. No, I don't want him on my heist. But we already know that Lay's good for a heist. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, they, they totally didn't break into that sorcerer's vault to find the location of the giant ruins. Nope, nope, not even a little yeah. bit. Yeah, yeah. Also, for anyone who doesn't already know, the character Lay from Keith Baker's Oops. Eberron books was the inspiration for my longest run character that I ever played in our long-term D&D campaigns. I dug the tunnel just a little too far. Is Moria down here? No, no. Uh... Ooh, there were a couple. I know who uh, I want. Okay. Pippin. Not not Pippin. Pippin. Mary. Mary. Why Mary, as opposed to Pippin? Because hobbits had well because Mary was the smart one. Because remember, we're going book, not movie. Okay. Was Mary the and smart one? And Mary was the smart one. Pippin was the comic relief. Okay. Sam was the heart, and Frodo was. The rich guy. Um, <laughs> Frodo. Frodo was the endurance. Uh, let's. Uh, yes, that's fair. Yes. Like, um, like, but they mentioned several times. Obviously, they don't mention it fully in D and D terms. But if they were D and D characters, they have a silent tread. Yes. Yeah. They they have like a so having a hobbit move silently. Yep. Exactly. So that seems an important thing. To have a good hobbit. To good have a good hobbit and a good heist. You're standing there staring. I'm surprised you didn't start on that uh bit of ancient debris. I'll let you grab the last two. Oh, my team asked me something. <laughs> Arcadius is all smog as my wheel, man. <laughs> <laughs> we said no dragons. <laughs> when when you well no 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 you you gotta justify that dragon. How are you gonna get smog to be your wheel, man? Please explain that one to me. What percentage makes it worth his while to get up off that gold just to be a wheel, man? There was one debris left, right? Two. There's I only one got one. Here. I only saw one. Oh, okay. Because the other one's over here. Cool. Guess again. It gets to keep the halflings after less years <laughs> to go around. Uh, That's awful. Good luck with that one. That's all I'm going to say about that. No P. 
piggies? Uh, okay. I hope not, because I just opened up a shulker box. Yeah. I forgot that I had him with me. Ooh, who is the super silent um, Warforge? Oh. Um, they, met, they met up with her in the... Uh, she Like, she snuck up on Pierce. Yeah, but that that's a neat... I don't think she's the kind that once bought stays bought. She She's more of the true believer type. And so I, I, I don't know that you could he was getting, like, if, get her. I feel like if Keith Baker got to finish the series, though, Pierce was swaying her. You think so? I think, yeah, I think there were lots of glimmers of the, the seed was being planted so that if he got to finish the last six books. Yeah. That would have been a thing. Can we just pause and take a moment to, to grumble in frustration at not being able to finish books? Yeah. Like, what is the point of contracting somebody to create a universe and then not let them write about it? I just don't understand it. Yeah. <laughs> well, and not uh, even let them finish. Like, if you're not going to let them write, yeah. at least don't let them write at all. Well, I don't think you were here for this uh, last week, but apparently Netflix has some internal numbers that that it uses to determine whether or not a series gets to keep coming or keep going or not. So a lot of Netflix series just never get the internal numbers that they need to go past maybe two seasons. And there's a part of me that just feels so bad because like I think The Witcher's definitely going to need more than two seasons to really hit its stride. Or somebody to actually read the books when they're doing Witcher movies. Yeah, well, that too. Although, uh, I must say, now that I'm on book five, uh, a anything that they, they've they been in, shown themselves to be doing could be an improvement. Because book five oh, is not. Oh, I didn't not. get that for yet. Uh, yeah. Uh, have you finished book four yet? Have you started book four? No. No, I haven't started. Okay. I'm still in three. Okay. Uh, the first, including the short stories, the the short, the short two short stories books that precede the five book main arc. Mm -hmm. The, yeah, those two compilations and the first three books are good. Book four starts introducing enough new characters that I felt the need for one of those play cards that they give you. You know, when you go go watch uh, Shakespeare or whatever. Like, yep. I, I need somebody to tell me who's who and why they're important. And where they are, and they're introduced in the third act. And Yeah, they're introduced in the third act and who they are, why I care, where in the world we are now, because this is the 18th new town that just got mentioned now. Um, oh. Yeah, so there, there's just, like... I've read books with a lot of new characters that get introduced, but it gets really hard to keep track of who's who and who's where and what's going on. And there's some weird, weird, you know, rabbit trails onto some side stuff. Uh, and this is this is the weak part of the fifth book. Is so far I'm like maybe ten percent of the way through the fifth book. And most of the dialogue and characters that you're interacting with are people who were around long after the events that took place in the Witcher series, looking back and trying to study the events. Oh. Yeah. I don't like that. I, I don't. I'm not liking that either. Good. I will finish this. Because I will finish this. <laughs> but... Uh, the the fifth book has not been as as fun or as kind. Fair, that sounds very fair. So fair, Ooh, fair. I've got fair. the next game. The next game. So next Tuesday, especially because we'll have everybody here. Mm -hmm. I want to do yep. this with video games from like the Chrono Trigger ish era, like those style games. So the '90s JRPG era. Exactly. Okay, and is this going to be another uh, Magnificent Seven style heist? Um, no, 
yeah, we'll see how far we go. We'll let Medic pick, since he didn't get in on this one, what kind of crew or what kind of storyline we're filling with them. Okay. All right, that's everything. That's everything. All right, let's get back to the base. Oh, what? Really? I'm going to die flying. No, you're not. We know it's clear. We cleared it. I'm down to one heart. How are you down to one heart? You know, you're, you're, see, you're gaining hearts. You're already gaining hearts. Eat your snack and grab a rocket. it wasn't cleared well. It was cleared perfectly well. Look at that. Yeah, I think we should totally do that next time because I think we all very much enjoyed and loved those games. Yeah. In that time period. Oh, I heard that. Oh. Which way's out? Next left. How many rockets are you going to go through? Uh -huh. I just hit him whenever. Uh, yeah. Here's the stairway. And then I think I'm going to go up to the uh, <laughs> pig farm and do a quick uh, repair on my tools. Well, good idea. Well, mine really aren't too bad. Uh, they're not too bad, but I, I, I love how quickly that gets resolved. Yeah. Uh, don't let me forget either next week or before next week to replace those doors with iron doors. Okay. Sorry. The pucker factor is going up as we pass by the Soul Sand Valley and, you know, the guest. Uh, did you ever get that Witherrose farm going? Um, yeah, and then the thing broke out, so I haven't started that. Oh, that's what I can use this nether for. Okay. I haven't started that other project yet. Maybe that'll be my thing next time. I just need to always yeah. have somebody with me in the nether, otherwise I die. You mean in the end? Wherever. Pretty much anywhere. Okay, good. Just go with anywhere. Yeah. Okay. I, I can buy that for a dollar. Yeah. Because uh, if we can uh, if we can get enough wither roses, Tango put together the most beautiful gas farm, and we could get it close enough to this that it's running while you're up here at the gold farm, and farm mm, some gas okay. tears and uh, gunpowder. Then I believe for the first time this season, we have a game plan for the next episode. We're going to build uh, a witch farm and talk about 90s video game characters. Oh, back here. Oh, that's right, because there's somebody down there. Wow, that does change the rates on this. Still doesn't take all that long. Wow. Okay, everything's sealed up. <laughs> oh man, that that is that is well and truly amazing. For more gold. No, I gotta get the piglin farm going. Uh. Um, yes, you're still here. The 
wandering trader? Are you seriously yes. going to trade in one of those ancient debris for a mini one? Yes. Did you see what it took to get them? One. It's one. And you get eight. No, 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 no. Stop. Now, consider what we just did. And how long it took us. And consider that, um... Uh, Pixel Riffs is in the middle of building a netherite beacon. He's got the outer shell done. And that's how Medic knows we love him, because I just spent one of those to get him ancient debris mini blocks. Okay, well you make sure to remind him about that on Tuesday. Okay. Um, I, I'm still still... Uh, zombie Pigmen spawned in the fire down here. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, of all the things I was expecting, that was not one of them. <laughs> I, I might have to change that out. Alright, well, this is where I switch things over to the cr There we go. And say thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. If you haven't already, do follow along on Twitch. That way you get notified when I go live. I stream from the Coffee Craft server on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. And on Fridays at 6 p.m. Eastern, I record Games Revisited. The live stream is pretty much a live-to-tape recording of the next six episodes that are going to roll out throughout the week. Those episodes are published on YouTube, which you can subscribe there as well. And that way you'll get notified when... Well, not notified. Yeah, if you hit the bell, you get notified of when new Games Revisited episodes, all the Coffee Craft live stream archives get uploaded there. Uh, the next time I update the Villager Voices data pack, which should be coming soon, because I just realized that uh, some of the yada yada technical stuff needs to be updated. I I'm saying that for the benefit of the people on uh, Discord. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so some of the stuff with some of the technical side of the data pack needs to get updated so that way 1.16 recognizes that it that is a valid data pack because some of that changed and I also want to get a better clear recording of the voices but I'm going to keep the what they're saying the same since everybody seems to really enjoy that and I may be doing another one of those for the wandering traders I just got to finish finding out what uh what files I need to have so keep an eye out for that too all that'll pop up on youtube subscribe if you haven't already and if you'd like to support a little more directly if you're able to support a little more directly because uh right now uh the the coffee craft stuff is, is operating at a negative income and, and yes e even just for a little cup of coffee head on over to live.nonjunior.com that will redirect you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. No amount is set there. I leave that up to you because this is a straight up value for value proposition. Whatever value you're getting out of this content, uh, consider giving a little bit of that back. Uh, again, even if it's just not for a cup of coffee. So uh, thank you. Have fun. And I hope to see you next time.